What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of the Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as mental illness across all social media platforms. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice. I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. Um, today's episode is going to be about everything that you are losing, everything that you're giving up, what you are tolerating by dealing with a narcissist, by staying in a toxic relationship with a narcissistic person, or just a, you know, you're running a male toxic person. Because we know not every person is a narcissist. Y'all. We, know, we know everybody's not a narcissist. We understand that. We get that. Um, but I see, so like, so when I post my skits and things like that, I, some of my skits are just going to be kind of, you know, some people call them groundbreaking, you know. I've been called the songbird of my generation by those who, those who, have, who have seen me. <laughs> Step brothers reference, if you don't get that. Um, but literally, so many people see my stuff and in the comment sections, it's always so much of what you had to give up. Like nothing to what you've gained. Like look at all the stuff people have to give up when you're in a toxic relationship. Like you have to literally give up so much. Like the last skit I did was about a narcissistic person uh, making you feel insecure about going out, making you stay, stay in the house. I saw so many comments in that comment section. like, oh my God, I wasn't allowed to go see my friends. I wasn't allowed to go visit my family. I wasn't allowed to do this. I wasn't allowed to do that. Is this your significant other or is this your parent? I know this is, I know this could have been your parent. I mean, I know that could have been your parent growing up and things like that. But what I'm referring to is an adult intimate relationship. People keep saying, I wasn't allowed to do something. Look at what you're giving up. Like, it's like you give up, you give up being with one, from going from, you go from your parents to a parental situation other than, and not a relationship. Like, so many people, you're sacrificing so much. You're letting somebody have control over your life for what gain? There's, I don't see the gain in in most of these relationships. I, I, I can understand the financial gain if you if the person is rich or something like that. You financially secure, but a lot of y'all, no, there's nothing. Like I look on here, I read it. It's just like, oh my goodness, I wasn't allowed to go out with my friends. Oh my goodness, I wasn't allowed to see my family. I wasn't allowed to do this or do that. Blah blah. blah. I'm like, what the hell? Every time I try to go out, there's an argument. Every time I try to do something, that like, I wasn't allowed to do this. This is my marriage right now. This is my relationship right now. I can't do anything that I want to do. Like. You can, you're allowing somebody else to have control over your life. Because when you say stuff like that, I wasn't allowed to, that means you're you're not in control of your situation. That means the narcissistic person, toxic person is, which means that they are happy. They're happy being in control of it. You mean, literally, they're so happy of being in control of your life. You know what I mean? It's all, look, but here's some more comments. It's okay for them to, it's okay for them to go out and then, they throw something into your face that hurts. Yeah, listen, like y'all, it's so much stuff right here. You know what I mean? Could be me and my ex, literally. Boom, boom, boom. You are on point. You know what I mean? It's, it's like literally insane what people are allowing other people, how, uh, how much control that people are willing to give somebody else over their lives. Like literally, you give, so, you give people control over your life and then you end up like unhappy and ter- like it's literally terrible. Like li- listen, to the comment. This is my whole marriage. The skit was me yelling and screaming about my uh, my significant other wanted to go out and hang with their friends, so I shut them down. Like you, no, you're not going out. You're not going out with your friends. I don't trust the, your friends. I don't trust you. You're a terrible person. It's literally, cra- yeah, it's literally crazy. But you know how it goes. The narcissist can get away with everything that they hold you back from. Everything that they're trying to control in your life. You don't have that same control over them because the double standards of these relationships do exist. So many people have to understand that this is like, yeah, if you stay in a relationship like this, this is your life. You are. This will 100% be your life. I definitely, I promise you. I wasn't allowed to wear lipstick. I wasn't allowed to go to the gym. I wasn't allowed to go see my friends and family. I wasn't allowed to do so much. Why are y'all letting somebody have control of your life like this? And it gets to the point where you can no longer blame the other person for treating you a certain type of way if you keep going back to them. Because the narcissistic person in your life thinks that you are okay with their behavior. You are okay with giving them control of your life. If it's a man, if it's a male, female dynamic, you, it's okay. They they consider it you submitting to them, y'all. She loves, my daughter's right here, y'all. She loves playing this game while I got to open it up for her. She likes to push this stuff down. Sorry, y'all. I know that sounds kind of annoying, but she's going to bug me the whole time I'm on the video now. There you go, mama. 
There you go. Give me two seconds, y'all. But like literally, what do you get? Why? Why? Why are you allowing somebody else to have this much control over you? Why? Not what? Why? What are you gaining from this right here? You know what I mean? Literally. They accuse you of cheating to keep you from going out. They accuse you of your friends being bad influences to keep you from going out. But guess what? They can go out. They can do what they want to do. Why can't you? Why Again, why are we allowing somebody else to have so much control over our lives? What what makes this person your God, the God in your life? A lot of people who in my comment section are religious. You consider yourself Christians. Why you pray, you pray to God at night, but you allow a man or a woman to control your life? What sense does that make? God gave God did not give you free will to be controlled by another person. That doesn't make unless you can find that verse. God, well, God says, I give you free will, my son and my daughter, to have somebody else control you. You know, find that verse for me, please, y'all. I need to see it. Because so many people consider yourselves Christians, but you play, but you but you let a, a, a man or a human being control your life. You you praying you you worshiping this person because they're not allowing you to go out. They're not allowing you to do anything like that. It's it, it literally crazy. I know how this feels. You know, they'll threaten you with the silent treatment. The more covert narcissistic people will just start to treat you terribly. They don't have to yell and scream at you to keep you from going out. They'll just treat. They'll just be silent treatment, threaten you. You know, be passive aggressive to you, things like that. You know, literally. This skit, like that, y'all. The skit was literally about me um, holding my significant other from going out, making them feel insecure. And so many people just like, oh, I wasn't allowed to go to the gym. I was like, the word "allowed" was used so many times in my comment section, y'all. Literally, literally allowed. And then, yes, your parents do this to you as well, where they don't allow you to do things like this. But it's just a parent. It's different, you know. But these relationship dynamics, you grow up and you end up in a relationship where you let your boyfriend. Oh, some of y'all are like, this is boyfriend. This is not a husband. This is not fiance. This is your boyfriend you've been dating for three months telling you that you can't hang with your friends. Y'all, that's not cute. It's not attractive. It's controlling. It's manipulative. Uh, it's mani manipulative behavior. It's not cute. It's controlling the shit that let somebody come into your life and eliminate your, your friends of the same sex, of, of, of the opposite sex, and then they do it to the friends of the same sex. Then you by yourself. Then you can't. Then you can't see your friends or your family. This is quick. It happens quick too. It's never. It never later on down the road. Ten years down, they start to isolate you. They start to try to isolate you quick. Why are you letting these people isolate y'all? For what? What? And y'all giving them control of your life for what? Again, for what? What are you gaining? The chance that love nobody. You so you they you let this person convince you that nobody else on this planet can love you, right? There they are the only person that can love you, right? Because that's what you're saying when you keep going back in these toxic ass relationships, allowing somebody to control your life. You mean, facts. I was shaving my legs for my friend's two-year-old birthday party. My husband my husband uh, says, what dudes are going to be there? Me? Really? Him? Yeah, you see right there. It's subtle. It's subtle. They try to subtly make you feel insecure. You know, I wasn't allowed to do this. Why are you allowing somebody to control you or your life? Why? And you uh, say it gets to the point where you cannot blame the narcissist for treating you badly if you keep going back to that person. And no, this is not me victim blaming. This is telling you narcissistic logic and pe other people's logic. Other people in your life who are not narcissistic, who might he might who you might consider friends and family, will also say the same thing to you. They'll be like, "Well, it must not be that bad if you keep going back." You must like it if you keep going back. That's how people think, and that's how people are going to talk to you because okay, again. People don't understand the trauma bond, but some of y'all are not trauma bonded. You just get into these relationships and then you let people control you from the beginning. For what? The shot at some love? Y'all so worried about people, other people loving you. Do you love you? That's the most important thing to me. Do you love you? You know what I mean? Do you love you? Because you have to be able to love yourself more to do these things. You have, you just, you literally just have to, you know what I mean? Spot on once again. Constantly, look, constantly threatened to break up with me if I wanted to go out. What the hell, y'all? Stop allowing these people to control your life. You, you have to. That's point blank period, end of story. You have to stop allowing these people to control your lives so much, and you get nothing in return but uh, them, uh, uh, an occasional I love you or just their presence. You get that presence. Because so many, so many people are scared to be alone. You get that presence of the narcissist in your life. Like, Here's my presence. You won't get my presence from anywhere else. You know what I mean? My ex to an absolute T. Haven't gone anywhere. Look, haven't gone anywhere with my friends in ten years. What the hell? Ten years? So you've been sitting in the house under somebody that's control? Oh my god, y'all! I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This is tragic as hell. It really, really is. It really, really is. 
I'm just sitting. I'm sitting. I'm sitting right here telling you. It's tragic. Stop letting these people control your life. They don't deserve to have that much control over you, y'all. Anyways, y'all have to hop on a 101 here. I always, I always do this right before the one so I can get the fire in and out. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.